guys, Rob Nafi from Holistic Healing Choices here and welcome back to Quick Rants. This time we're talking about red light therapy. So red light therapy, if you haven't heard, is a new, well not so new, it has been studied for years and years and years, but it is only just starting to get a lot of traction. Whereas in the past, you know, it had been used for a few things and they've been testing it out and using it and now it's something that uh, we've personally been experimenting with. Now I'll show you a little bit about that as well. Not too much just to protect you know, our clients' uh, privacy and stuff, but you know, they're doing starting news stories and stuff on the effects of it with Parkinson's, which we've had a little bit of success with as well, as well as numerous, numerous other conditions, side effects, symptoms, everything like that. And I guess it's really exciting for us too that, you know, it's starting to get this traction. But just having a look at this short little clip from the ABC about the effects of it with Parkinson's. Now, these are no special lights or anything like that. These are just simple LEDs that started out inside a bucket. So the thought then went through my mind, if using infrared light can protect neuron cells in a mouse's brain, why can't they protect the, the neuron cells in my brain? So I then sent an email to Professor Mitropanis and said oh, I wouldn't mind having a go at it. So he said, look, under no circumstances could he recommend uh, me using the, the lights that he'd been using because the lights had not been trialled at any stage on the human brain and he anticipated that it would be another 10 years before human clinical trials could be conducted. And I thought, well, in 10 years time I could be dead. So I said, well, thank you very much for your advice, but I'm going to have a go at it anyway. We, we used the bucket because it was simply the, most, the easiest to work with. I'd regain the sense of smell, the fine motor movements. I was able to play the piano again. All of those symptoms had improved. So, from that clip, while they're saying it's not a cure, obviously there's a lot of research that's got to go into it before they can you know, claim it does anything. But it does seem, very much seem, that it reduces the symptoms at least which is what we've been finding as well in clinic. So we've seen you know, the symptoms of vertigo, joint pain, especially disc issues, nerve pain, you know, disappear, supposedly, within you know, the time it takes to use this. Now, while we've been doing it with uh, a little bit of kinesiology and intuition to see the dosage or the time needed for uh, the therapy, well, to use the red light, you know, it works rather quick with most sessions, you know, lasting about somewhere between five to 10 minutes before people start to get an effect. And when we get those repeat people to come in as well, it seems even more so that it keeps working after the initial treatment. So. One of our first cases was an older lady who'd hurt her hand, so her hand had swelled up and she could hardly you know, bend anything because it had swelled up and inflamed so much. Ran it over there for five minutes. You know, we had no idea what we were doing. We were just experimenting with it. And you know, afterwards, yeah, she could close her fist again. And then later on down the track, when she got in contact with us, she said, yeah, it was even better like a couple of hours afterwards as well. So it had continued to work or continue to drain that. We've seen a lot with headaches, um, numbness in the fingers, and stuff like that, by placing it at the C7 T1 junction, 
we've seen a lot of reduction in the pain in the fingers. Other things that we've seen are headaches, seems to obliterate those. Like I said again, nerve pain, which is one we've been using a lot of. We had a lady come in on crutches, she's got damaged discs all the way from L5 up to her th the end of her thoracic. And, you know, she came in on crutches. By the time she got home, which was about, you know, let's give it two hours, she said she got out of the car for the first time in months with no help. Uh, that's so exciting for us. We've been doing a bit of research ourselves as well and find, you know, that it may be able to help with weight loss. Now, I mean, that's... <laughs> if it does, so we'll be experimenting on ourselves with that, where we've got a bit of flab that we don't want anymore. If that does, then be prepared for a big update on red light therapy and what it can do from us. I want to put the question out to you. What do you believe about that? Why do you believe that this is starting to come into fashion now. Why is it just now that, you know, there are a couple of other studies and things going on. One of my clients who looked into it also said that the FDA has approved red laser light therapy for carpal tunnel syndrome. It is starting to be a big thing, which is very exciting because, I mean, how easy is it to grab a whole bunch of LED lights and put them all over yourself and just to see those effects almost immediately. Now, I do wish I could show you some of the video footage that we have, but you'll just have to take my word for it. One lady with Parkinson's that we've been seeing, you know, she, she was very much at the stage where she had to stop, turn, before she could continue on whichever way. Um, balance was terrible, her joints ached, you know, to sit, to stand up out of a chair, she had to sort of get that momentum up to push herself up. And then there was a case of balance as well after, you know, fully standing up. <sighs> she used to come in and we'd do a minute and a half on her. And from that minute and a half, she'd come in and stand straight up. But that didn't even last a day. So we did that consecutively uh, for about two weeks or maybe a month. I can't remember, it's been a while we've been seeing her. Whereas now we're up to a stage where, you know, it's about 10 minutes that we have the light on the base of the skull. There, up into that. The point where it sort of can get a nice clear bit into uh, the spinal column there. And, you know, maybe it has that effect on the brain as well. We're not sure. Like I said, we're, we're experimenting. We're like a couple of kids that found a new toy to play with so we're just seeing what it can and can't do and now you know it can last for weeks without her having to come in and see us um, she still gets a bit of a tremor through her hands and stuff but we're working on that next but I want to put the question out to you do you think this is a relevant thing do you think this is a real thing and why not why can't the simple power of light help heal people and why haven't we seen this before? But anyway guys, that is it for red light therapy. A quick rant on that and just how excited I am with the possibilities of it. I'll put a link down below as well to another podcast where the host of the Energetic Blueprint, he's talking to someone who's been studying it for years and years and years and all the things that they've been finding. Which is another important thing too that I almost forgot to say is that it doesn't seem to have the same effect on everybody. Now, we've had a mother and daughter come in as well for the past two months, let's say. Now, the daughter is just about out of pain. She had a few disc issues and a bit of pain, especially around her hips. She's had previous operations and stuff like that before. And she is more or less free from all that pain, that chronic pain, that pain she's used to wake up with every day. But yet her mother still suffers with it. So there's obviously like a sliding scale of how effective it is with each individual. I'd love to be able to find out who is more suited for it and how the universe decides that they're more suited for it. Whether it's blood type, whether it's you know, structural makeup or what. But anyway, now that's it for this video. 
I'm Rob Murphy. I want to hear your thoughts on red light therapy or even laser therapy or not even just red light, any coloured light therapy whatsoever. But anyway, as always guys, I'm Rob Murphy and I'll see you in the next video.